This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Coverage you can count on. Breaking right now at 6. This investigative report is giving new details in the death of college student Mia Marcano. From a glimpse at the last time she was seen alive to the timeline showing how quickly investigators say her killer took her life and then dumped her body across town. Investigators say it took less than 45 minutes for a maintenance man to ambush Mia Marcano in her apartment, take her life, and then hide her body in the trunk of his car. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sigalski. Late this afternoon, we got a hold of a 100-page-plus investigative report detailing what led up to Marcano's death. Channel 9's Ashley Edlin has been going through it. She joins us live right now with more. Ash. Well, Martha, the investigative report here in my hand is graphic. It tells the story of Armando Caballero leaving the complex after the ambush, doubling back and circling around on a golf cart at one point. He even used her key fob to pretend like he was Mia trying to get into her apartment. This is 19-year-old Mia Marcano leaving work at the Arden Villas apartment complex in September of 2021, captured by a security camera at 5 p.m. the day she disappeared. Steps away at her apartment on the property, maintenance man Armando Caballero was waiting inside. Pictures in this document show there was a struggle. Investigators say they found broken jewelry on the floor and bloodstains on a bedroom pillow and a living room pillow. A bookshelf was pushed up against her bedroom door. DNA tests show blood from both Mia and Caballero were found inside her room. Investigators concluded that by 550, Caballero had killed her and taken her body out through her bedroom window. This map of his cell phone records show Armando left the complex, went to his own home, then came back, and is seen here on a golf cart at the complex circling around. Deputies say he took Mia's key fob and pretended to try to make entry with the fob, but no entry was ever made. Mia's body was found bound with duct tape. The same duct tape was found in Caballero's car. Now, friends and family investigators talked to throughout the investigative report say the relationship between Caballero and Mia started off flirty, but when she didn't want anything further from him, he became obsessive and overly emotional, as they called it. Gave her gifts like $600 in cash. Those family and friends say she tried to tell him no, but he wouldn't back off. Live in the studio, Ashley Edlin, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.